Hello, Beans. How are we doing? Hello. How's it going? I'm... This is going to be really shocking, so prepare yourselves. I'm sleepy. <laughs> I know that's a shock. Hi, Parker. How you doing? Oh, I can put this other binder clip on here. Keep that page open, even though I don't think it's that big a deal. But, hi, the witch. Good to see you. Wow, it's like really the vast darkness today. Hi, Al. <laughs> That's great, Parker. Classic, classic kitty helping you out, right? Hmm. <sighs> I'm going to immediately yawn. That's going to set the tone for the whole day. 
I really did not sleep well last night. I know I say this a lot, but it was even worse than normal. My body decided to cause problems on purpose, and so I didn't get a lot of sleep. Um, <laughs> but that's okay, because all we're doing is SpongeBob today. That's the plan. Um, I also have some brainstorming to do. Um, I have gotten some reference images sorted for um, projects for this month. Um, if you haven't seen on socials, the color for this month is cobalt teal, um, which is a good color. It's a good color. Um, and as we discussed last time, I'm going to be doing some bugs. Um, I think a spider is up first because I have a good idea for it. So ye be warned. I will put that in the um, title and everything so that you know to avoid it if you don't like spiders. But it is a really cute spider. It's so fuzzy and adorable. And he goes like this. Hi, Grim. I am stretchy Ian. Yeah, I know not everybody likes a spooter, but I like a spooter. And I really like the fuzzy ones, and this one just matches really nice with the color. So we're going to be doing a peacock jumping spider. And they have the guys, the guys specifically of these spiders, have really fancy butts that happen to match our color of the month. So we're gonna we're gonna do that. Not today again. I'm I'm warning you for the future. Today we're just focusing on SpongeBob and brainstorming. I'm taking a sippy. Um, nice thing about myself. Uh, what is a nice thing about myself? Um, instead of just getting up at 4.45 a.m. and not trying to go back to sleep, I actually laid back down and got more sleep, even though I knew it was going to make me groggy because I needed more sleep. So I listened to my body in the way that is correct and not in the way my body wants me to listen to it, which is actually a good thing in this case. I, I don't know how to say that right. Because, as you might have guessed, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, exactly, Peacock. I'm pretty sure exactly Peacock. Exactly Parker. All right, Brain. I'm glad that I gave you all a disclaimer. That's just what this is going to be like today, apparently. Um, but yeah, I'm assuming that's why they're named that. But they are fancy little guys, and they're, they're fuzzy. And they do a little dance and show you their butt. To try and convince you that they're sexy. Um, I mean, that's not wrong, really. I I do I have done that to now two people, I guess. Although I don't think that a peacock would count as a fursona. Wouldn't it be a feathery, right? Because it's not furry; it's a feathery. Haha, -ha, feature not a bug. <laughs> um. Although we will be doing a lot of bugs. So, um, I mentioned, I mentioned we were going to be doing brainstorming. We worked on this a little bit last time, um, where we were talking about the collectible stickers that I want to do. So basically do like sticker packs, um, with like different pull rates and stuff like that. So some plain ones and some rares and then some super rares and stuff like that. Um, we're definitely doing a peacock spider this month. I think we're going to do a dragonfly as well. And then I think we're going to do a leaf hopper. Um, and these are going to be the regular stickers for the sticker packs. Um, we have some other things to do for that too, but those ones fit really nicely with this color. Um, so I think, I think that's going to be the focus this month, but also, um, Stream Inc. has announced their prompt list. So I've been, I've been, I wrote all those down today and I be thinking on it. Um, we know some of these people, actually. Um, we've got, we've raided Ike before. 
Ike Man, who's down here, whose um, prompt is transient on day 19. We know, we know him. Um, we also know art by Trisha Hall, um, who is day 24 with the prompt luck. And we know day 30, Rainbow Sheep, whose prompt is so surprising. You might want to prepare yourself a little bit. Is Rainbow. <laughs> So um, we do actually know know some of these people. We've also rated Perrin before. There's a few people in here who are in in the circle, even if we aren't like buddy buddy. Um, so I've started thinking about that. I don't know how many of these I will do. Last year I did all of the prompts. Um, I'm not sure how much time I'm really gonna have because I'm doing like a lot more work in general. Um, that I was last year, and I'm also going to be modeling at some point, so I need to, like, not overwhelm myself so much that I start crying, you know? So I might just do a few of these and not do a bunch of them. Some of these prompts are, like, jumping out at me, and a lot of them aren't this time. Um, so, so we'll see, we'll see. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I'm going to say this and then I'm going to not be able to do that, but I'm going to <laughs> try to take it easy on Stream Inc. this year. But since since we have some buddies doing doing the Stream Inc., I'm going to at least do a couple prompts. I would like to do at least a couple prompts. Um, but we'll also be working on this. I don't think this is something that's going to get done done um, this year. If I'm being honest, because this is like a lot of art to do, um, especially if I'm going to be doing the paintings pretty big. I was thinking maybe four by four because that is a picture frame size that I can get so I could sell the little ones framed, um, which would be more of a pain in the butt to ship. But shipping is already such a pain in the butt that it doesn't really matter that much like the the increase in difficulty is not substantial hey diamond good to see you or galactic do you prefer one or the other i guess i never asked you or if i did i forgot um but yeah i also made like a lot of art last month and i'm doing a bunch of like prep stuff so i'm feeling i'm feeling like I have a lot of work to do, which is true. And like I can do it and I can manage it, but I am feeling a little a little overwhelmed about how much I have going on. Okay, cool. Hi. <laughs> um cuz like I was like I don't know why I'm stressing out about this so much. It's not like I'm adding that much to the shop. And then I made a list to keep track of where I was in all of this of all the things that I was adding to my shop. Like I'm hoping to get added this month. Um, and it was like 30 something things. Um, and that's just stickers. That's not the original art listings that I still need to put up from this month. Like, okay, maybe I am, maybe I am a little crazy and maybe I'm designing more stickers already to try and add to that. I definitely didn't start another sticker design last night and work on it more today. Don't worry about it. <laughs> The problem with like wanting to make art is that then I can, I think like, how do I put this? Um, one of the difficulties of having the ability to print my own stickers in my house is that I have the ability to print my own stickers in my house. And so I kind of like need to figure out how to rein myself in a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's totally fair, Parker. I just let people pick whatever. A lot of times people will ask if I prefer Tundra or Katie or whatever, and I'm like, any part of the username is fine. Honestly, I probably respond faster to Tundra now just because Katie is such a common name that I just assume nobody is talking to me when they use the name Katie because I'm so used to having to ignore that because, like, I was never the only Katie in a class until I hit college kind of thing, so. Okay, let me actually... Pull up my Spanchbob reference here. Um, oh, sure. Tis a kitty. Ooh. 
Ooh, and I'm gonna yawn really big right then. Um, <laughs> I kind of wish I was a little house cat so that I could nap whenever I wanted. Okay, here's our horror SpongeBob reference. Um, we, can, we can leave him up here. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Okay, I remember thinking that I wanted to use a different black on top of the eyes because I forgot how bad this one granulates. Good, go get your rest. I'll talk to you later. Um, yeah, I remember wanting to use a different black because of the granulation. I might end up mixing my own black actually. I also really should clean my palette again, but I've already started, so whatever. <laughs> it's that kind of day, honestly. I'm just, I'm so sleepy. I'm so sleepy and tired. Which I'm sure you can tell because I can tell my voice is frying like really hard today. Which is a thing that I do when I'm tired. <laughs> This is probably too big of a paintbrush for this, but we're just going to go for it. It's fine. Um, but how is everybody else doing? How was, how was the weekend? If you are a USian, how was your Labor Day? Well, I mean, even if you aren't a USC and how was your Labor Day? I know it's not Labor Day everywhere, but really Labor Day is May 1st, but for the rest of the world. Ooh, I could probably stand to up the brightness on the camera today. Let's see here. This is the problem with using natural light. That's a little bit better. Okay. Um, I also can do the wood grain on here a little bit. Right now, this shouldn't take too long. I'm thinking I might start sketching the, uh, um, I don't know, the next thing. Probably the leaf hopper, because I don't want to jump scare anybody with a spider without warning. Because um, we are going to be doing a lot of bugs this month for the color of the month. Because um, I want to do um, collectible sticker packs similar to what Liberty does with their cats. But I want to do bugs. Um, so we're going to be starting that. Actually, maybe we could start on the terrarium for the outside of the pack. That would be a nice neutral thing to start with that isn't too, too rough for anybody. Do I have anything really interesting to say? I don't think that I do. Um, let's see, I've announced, we announced the new, the new color for this month, which is cobalt teal. That's the sky up here. Um, also the sticker club sticker for this month is, is up. So you can, you can join to get this beautiful sticker sent to your home or wherever else you receive mail. Um, brain work ahead yeah I sure hope it does um, so this one will get shipped out the last mailing day of the month which I believe this month is actually the 30th um, uh, $5 a month 
on my Patreon to get exclusive stickers. Um, the stickers will be Patreon exclusive for at least a month. It is never guaranteed that they're going to be listed regularly in my shop. Um, so the only guaranteed way to get it is to become a member of Sticker Club. Um, these are the stickers for last month. These all got sent out. I just sent out the last one today because of the holiday weekend. Um, and for the first month, you got two stickers. I still haven't decided if I'm going to list these ones or not. I won't be listing both. I would probably have to pick a design and list one of them because it's just a very subtle difference between the two. Um, so I'll need, I'll need to make a decision on that. But any of the extra stickers that I've printed for Sticker Club that don't get sent out to Sticker Club are going to be included in my mystery sticker stock. So you have a chance of getting it, but it, again, it's not a guarantee. That, that's the way it's going. Yeah, and actually this, this design is going to be the sticker for October. I'm still working on getting the digital file prepped. Um, after that, I don't have a plan. Maybe something we make this month will be a sticker. I do have, like I, I mentioned that I um, started working on another sticker design. Did I bring my iPad out here? I did. I can show you guys. Do you guys want a sneaky peeky of something that I'm working on? It's digital, which is why it would be a sneaky peeky. Um, but I have this Stardew chicken sticker that's going to be part of the big shop update I'm working on. He's got a little glitter. It's a void chicken and he's so rotund. This is the void that loves you back. Um, and because of Lib, 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 the constant inspiration, I suppose, um, I'm going to do a blue one too. So this is just the flat colors. I still need to do all the texture and stuff, but I got this settled this morning. Um, so we're going to do a blue chicken to go with the void chicken. Um, and maybe I'll do more than more than that. We'll see. I do enjoy a cow. It is known. I also enjoy goats. So we might we might add those. I do have a goat sticker that's going to be added to the shop um, from some of the stuff that I made last month. Um, this guy, that's me. Um, but I did a, a trio based on me and my partners. So based on, on animals and favorite foods. So there will be a goat sticker. It will not be a Stardew goat sticker yet. Maybe I'll add one. Who knows? It's one of those things where it's just like wherever my brain decides that we can work on something and that's how it's going to go. <laughs> um, let's see here. I'm going to want to do some shading along the edge. Maybe this edge? No, that won't make sense. To make this look um, 3D a little bit more. Not like super intensely, but you can see on the... Um, other ones we did just like a little line along the side here to make make it appear to be the three of D. So I guess I don't really need that binder clip there, especially since I keep grabbing onto this. Um okay. I do want to deepen up underneath here too a little bit. Maybe go over the mouth again with some more red just to even it out a bit. I think 
think I'm just gonna do another layer of red to try and even this out and we'll see how it works. This paper isn't always great about holding on to the pigment if you re-wet it, like reactivate it. Um, but this has been drying since Friday. So one would hope that it would be willing to hang on to the pigment for a little bit, but we'll find out together. Well, I did finally remember to update my website gallery this morning. I was behind on updating stuff from last month. Last month was kind of crazy though, so like, it's fine. This isn't like a read on my productivity or anything. It was just, I completely forgot. <laughs> and it's not like I was super behind or anything because all the stuff from July was already up, so. I think that's better. I also think we could stand to do another layer of yellow just to even it up a bit. I do want to finish this guy so that I can get him scanned and start working on prepping the file to make more stickers because I would like to put this up with the other three which I already have prepped. I just need to print. Um, I'm still waiting on the ink for my printer so that I can actually do that because HP sucks butt. Just in case anybody's wondering. <laughs> gotten to the point where I've been working on so many digital files that to make stickers that I can look at this and I can see places where I'm gonna have to clean it up. <laughs> okay, that's gonna be a bit better. Maybe like right there. This is a little dark. That's better. So I really need to put away the other color cards. Where did I put the thing for that? Well, I'm sitting here waiting on stuff. So I have a little container that I keep them all in, but I don't know where I put the container. Because I am not an organized person. Everybody always thinks that I'm organized because I like making lists. By like making lists, I mean I need to make lists or my brain will try to eat itself, but I'm really not. I am not an organized person in the slightest. Um, I think it will be a little bit better once I have like an actual workspace, but for now I do not have that. So I love lists. Lists are my wife. 
Oh my god, the thing was literally right in front of my face. Um, we're just going to pretend that I found this over there, and you guys aren't going to call me out on that, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. I've gotten to the point where I have a to-do list, and then I have three separate lined post-its with specific to-do lists. It's like, it's a mess. I mean, I'm a mess, so it makes sense, but... Um, let's see, the last one I put in here was April, May, June, July, and August. We're nearing, we're nearing a whole year of Color and Focus, actually, which is pretty exciting because that's when I get to start sewing together all of the quilt blocks. Actually... One of the prompt words for Stream Ink this year is quilt. Um, I started the quilt blocks for last year's Stream Ink because one of the uh, prompt words was stitched. Um, so maybe I'll quilt all those together. I quilt, you know, sew, sew the paper together for that. Because um, we, we have a few of these suckers now. Um, let's see, where was the one, this was the one that I did for, um, Stream Inc. last year. So maybe, maybe that, maybe that's kind of a, a little bit of a dial in, but it would be kind of cool to do a combo like that. I should write that down before I forget. <laughs> Me talking about my lists. Just a few lists. You know how it is. Uh, quilt was near the end of the month, wasn't it? Yeah, 29. Will that actually make me remember those words that I wrote down? Maybe. We'll see. Um, shrimp I can actually do... Sorry, I'm looking at the prompts now. Shrimp I can actually do the just a basic shrimp painting for shrimps as bugs for the collectible stickers. So I can work some of these into other stuff and that will make me feel better about it for sure. Cheese is a weird one. I don't I don't know what to do for cheese. There's some very interesting ones. They don't they basically never repeat prompt words for stream ink. So it gets kind of like wilder and wilder the, <laughs> the longer it goes on. I'm thinking maybe if I just do a shrimp painting based off of our shrimp emote, I could actually use the watercolor um, to replace the shrimp emote that we have now. I did draw the shrimp emote, but it's digital. And since we mostly do like actual watercolor on stream, I would kind of like to do that instead. Although I do like our shrimp. I do think that I'm going to sell the shrimp file in my shop. Because um, right now I only have two animated emotes in there. But I have some still emotes ready that I can do. Hi Jess. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, shrimp shrimp. Shrimps is bugs. In case anybody didn't know. Shrimps is bugs. I was also kind of feeling doing some Copic marker and colored pencil this month, but I don't know what I would, like, I don't have an idea for what I want to do with that. I just want textures. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you definitely should. I approve. <laughs> and we all know that I need to approve of things that you do with your own body. 
because I act like a Republican as if. As if. <laughs> I don't think we have, like, a huge amount of work left to do on this, honestly. I probably should have actually prepared something else. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's good. Kind of like how they do at the zoo. Does the Oregon Zoo still have those? I don't even know. I haven't been there in ages. But they used to have those little um, wooden, like, platform things. Where it had, like, the question on the front and you could lift it up and there was the answer underneath. Like that, except with a boob. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. It was, um, I think the ones I'm specifically thinking of were in the, near the, like, Amazon exhibit where they had, like, the Jeep and stuff like that over there. But, again, I haven't been there in way longer than since 2022, so. Like, I grew up at that zoo, but I haven't lived in Oregon since 2006, so. I'm sure it has changed significantly since I was there. Oh, I did start a new video game last night. I think I mentioned this on stream, but I got Crime Scene Cleaner. And it was finally the right time for me to play it a bit last night. Um, there are some things that are really annoying about it already. I've completed one level. <laughs> like, I knew it was going to... I'm playing it on Steam Deck, so like I knew it was going to be a little bit rough because it's not optimized for, for Stream Deck, but it is really fun. The The issue that I kept having last night was um, the way the interaction with the, uh, the like environment works um, means that I knock over my water tub when I'm carrying it, or if I step too close to it and it makes a big mess and it makes me really angry um, <laughs> which like, it, it's small beans. This is small beans, you know? But I am having fun with it. I did, um, like I said, I only played... Oh, I don't want to do that yet because that black isn't dry. Um, I did only play the one level before I switched over to reading a book, which is the, the smarter bedtime activity. <laughs> but um, definitely fun. The first level is kind of a doozy, though. There is a surprise. And yeah, it's a surprise. I can already tell that it's going to be like pretty, like the actual story is going to be pretty emotional, I think. Which, uh, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Because <laughs> uh, there's little like environmental stuff that you can read around to pick up on the, the story. And, uh, oh boy. I won't give any spoilers.
I will say it's not that bad to play on Steam Deck. A lot of things are like really bad. The demo was rough for it, but I, I trusted them to make it controller compatible. And it seems to have, it seems to be pretty well, pretty well situated at this point. But I, as you might guess by me um, streaming off of a Mac laptop, I don't have a better computer. <laughs> so I have a Steam Deck, which uh, covers, covers that for me, which is great, honestly. I got it, um, and honestly, since I got it, I have not played on my Switch, like, at all. The Steam Deck is vastly superior, <laughs> which isn't a shock, like I expected that, but. But it's almost like I had a long standing beef with Nintendo or something over a game. Same with Raw Fury, actually. Same, same issue, same issue. Um. But people who weren't here for that, there, there's this game called Cassette Beasts. And on Steam, it runs great. Um, on Switch, it does not run great. And there is a accessibility setting that I made sure was included in the game because I needed it. Um, and it was to turn off glitch effects um, because those tend to give me migraines. And that setting did not work on the Switch version for almost a whole year. And I was emailing them and like annoying them the entire time about fixing this setting. And they finally fixed it. And I had had three separate people on their support team say that they would email me when the setting was fixed. None of them emailed me. I found out on accident because I was checking. I say on accident. I found out without any other information because I was checking to see if it was working. Um, I still have not played that game because I'm still so pissed about it. <laughs> but some of the music for it is on the stream playlist because it is like a banging soundtrack even if the people who were supposed to be making that game accessible kind of uh, fucked it up real bad. Which is kind of a shame, because I think I think I would have been really into that game and made a bunch of fan art for it. So kind of their loss, I suppose. Because I had already drawn at least one of the the creatures to send to somebody. Um, I I painted like drew and painted a little one in a letter to Trish at one point. Okay, I need to do his tear tracks here because they're gonna be black. Um, I made mine a little less dramatic than this. Just a little though. But this is like, I don't know, 2009 emo teen levels of running mascara, you know? Yeah, right? <laughs> I made him look a little derpier because it felt right. <laughs> um, but I think I want to use some of this here to do that. Probably want a smaller brush too. Actually, let's use this one. And I'll probably go back with a little bit of white ink to do highlights in here. It would help to get water out of my paintbrush if I actually put the paintbrush in the water. Um, pro tip.
Yeah, I think if I make that too dark, it's going to like not read very well. So I need to be a little bit careful here. Like, would that actually be real life accurate? Yes. Will it read as well in the art? No. Which is part of the point of doing the art is to make it different. So there you go. Oh, they're coming out with another coffee talk, too. That's something else I saw. Which, I don't know. It's in a different city with different characters, so I'm, like, less excited about it than I could be. I really liked the first two episodes, or whatever you want to call it. But I like my characters. I want my little blurbos back. Man, my back hurts today. I say as if it doesn't hurt every day, but you know. Gosh, I got jump scared by my, well, by somebody reposting my own post on Instagram the other day. People still really like the can't boil an empty kettle. It's wild to me how fast that took off. Still. And what's really funny is I posted it on all of my social medias, but it only took off on Tumblr and now has been stolen from Tumblr and posted everywhere else. But I did post it on like Twitter and Blue Sky and I think I posted it on threads too. People only want it if it came from Tumblr, which is funny. It's not the first post I've had from Tumblr, like, great containment either. There's another one that gets reposted a fair amount about a um, baby quilt I made for a professor when I was in college. Him and his wife who were having their first kid. That one gets reposted a lot too. Not as much as the kettle, just to be clear, but it definitely, I have been tagged in it on Facebook by friends who saw it multiple times, which is wild. I don't know, that whole concept is wild to me. Ew, people paying attention to me? What? Stop it. I mean, unless you're also giving me money. I will say, to the credit of people who liked the kettle I, I did actually make some money off of that <laughs> which is good it's nice when that actually like translates to something other than earning other people notes and money for their more popular Instagram accounts or whatever I think that's pretty much it for Spongebob, honestly. That took even less time than I was expecting. And I wasn't expecting it to take very long. Um, do I want to start sketching other stuff? I still haven't fully decided 
what size I'm going to make the stickers for the collectible pack. That's that's the next project I think that I'm going to focus on. Um, let me see what size papers I have, because I can I can resize stuff and it'll be fine. What are you? You're five by seven. That might work, but it will be easier for sure if I figure that out first because most of my stickers one of the dimensions are three inches um, and a lot of times that ends up being a square or something um, or like square-ish but um, sometimes they're a little bit longer like this one is a little bit um, but I need to figure out what size pack to do in that case and you know what? I have one of Lib's packs, like literally right here. Because, like, that wouldn't quite fit. That would fit. This would fit fine. Um, but some of these are not going to be standard shapes because they are going to be bugs. Like, that one would fit beautifully. Um, let me look at the standard dimensions for a card pack. I knew this at one point because I was for the advent book. I have. Um, done similar research. Two and a half by three and a half inches ish. I hate how every single freaking website has a little pop up like AI chat buddy now. It's like, I don't want to talk to you. Leave me alone. Like, limp stickers are maybe a little bit bigger. Yeah, just similar size. Not exactly the same, but. Um, not me just completely stealing Lib's dimensions. Don't worry about it. Yeah, so this is three by five. That makes sense. Um, I am going to make the um, art a little bit bigger, I think. I want to make a little... Right? I Do you remember when you could change Clippy to like a dog or a kitty cat or a little wizard? That was peak technology, honestly. It's disgusting that we've gone back from that. But I want to do like a little terrarium that you could like, and maybe I'll sell little prints of them too so that you could just stick one of the stickers in the terrarium. Um, but we can we can brainstorm that at the moment because I think, I think Spongebob has has been completed, really. I'm just tired of AI. Like, generative AI, really. And, like, how it's ruining literally everything. Because, like... It's made autocorrect way worse, which is AI. But since they've made it, like, repeated mistakes, like the thing that is most commonly typed, it makes more mistakes, and it makes worse mistakes. Like, yeah, exactly. Like, nobody gave me a safe word. What is this about? <laughs> so I'd probably want to make it a little bit more than 3 by 5 just in case the sticker is that. I should ask Lib what the name of the crimper thing they have is. Um... I can ask them later. They're streaming later today. But I want maybe a little terrarium with uh, my logo sticker on it. Kind of like how, I don't know if anybody else, did anybody else collect bugs when they when they were young and they had one of those little plastic terrariums? Um, so maybe I want to do like three and a half by five and a half. 
how many of those could I fit on a sheet of standard paper? That's another question. But it wouldn't be straight three and a half by five and a half. It would need to be flattened out. Oh, I gotta do math in my head. Disaster. Let's work on that. Hi, Shawnee. Good to see you. Um, we'll work on that a little bit. And I need to move that. Otherwise, SpongeBob is going to get knocked over. Okay. Hi, Dwight. Classic queer. Good choice, Snob. I have hydrated while saying hi to Shani. Um, okay. I can do this. I know that I can do this, but it's going to make my brain hurt a little bit. So if I want this to be three and a half, 3.5 by five. I, I could make that bigger, but I think three and a half by five is fine. Is that the size of a standard index card or is a standard index card three by five? I think it's three by five. Um, I could also make the stickers a little bit smaller than three inches. I think that would be reasonable. So maybe I do want to just do three by five. Let's play how many questions can I ask myself before my brain explodes. Index card size. They're 3 by 5 right? Yeah, 3 by 5 um, And there's also 4 by 6s Okay. So I think I could... Ooh, and I will also drop things, as you do. So I would... If I did 3 by 5 total, and then have a little spot on each end for um, gluing and crimping um, let's say a quarter quarter inch on each side yeah and it's shawnee we love shawnee and then the whole pack would need to be flat like this right and then these bits would match up in the back and then that would be the crimped area so this would be three by five and then the back would need to be a little bit bigger than three by five how much overlap quarter inch maybe we're just going to reverse engineer um I, you know it's a half inch okay not a quarter inch which makes sense but yeah so that would need to be three by five plus a little bit so it would need if I want it to match up in the middle it would need to be half of three inches which is one and a half so these sides would be one and a half inches this would be three inch this would all be five inch and then there would be an addition of a little bit on each side here um, which I can just say a half inch for, for ease here. So that would be two inches on each of these sides, three inches in the middle. So that would be seven inches by five inches. So seven by five total. You guys came here to watch me do math and struggle with it, right? I usually do okay if I have like a visual kind of like this, but Sometimes I just make silly mistakes. Um, so I'm doing seven and five. I can fit two of those on an individual sheet of paper, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, right? Or I could do, yeah, no, it would have to be two per, that's fine. Um, yeah. I would need to get cardstock for that probably. I think Lib just uses a little bit heavier weight paper. I might want to do actual cardstock. Um, but I do have the score buddy now, which will really help when folding those. Thanks to Lib. Um, so 
what do I want to call these is, is the next, the next thing. Um, I know that I want to do like for the pack. So we'll say this is the pack front. I want to do a little terrarium like this, like one of those little plastic ones, you know, you know, the guys, um, Yes, that's a cool idea, Brain. That would make that way too complicated. I, my brain was like, okay, but what if we made like a little inset so that there was a secret spot with like clear plastic here and then there was one like freebie sticker inside the terrarium? That's too much. Don't do that. Like it's a cool idea, but I also need to be able to put these together myself and that's going to be a lot. Um, but I think I probably want to have like a little one of my logo like a little sticker of my logo on the terrarium and then have um, like a little a little branch and a leaf in here something like that um, but I also want to have the name down here which I don't know what I'm going to call these yet um, oh you guys can't even see the bottom of that there you go um, I mean, there's got to be like some fun word for a bug collection, right? Beginner etymologist. Let's look at various bug collecting things, shall we? I do always like some alliteration. So like bug brigade, terrarium something. Oh, good for you, Shawnee. Yeah, I hope so. I hope you get some good rest because you deserve it. Look at my good friend, thesaurus.com, shall we? What's the other word for groups? Or a collection, perhaps? Bunch is not a bad word. Boodle is a good word. Catcher's caboodle? Let me think about that. Not 100% sold on it, but something like that. use a silly word I want it to be like I don't know some bug bonanza that's good that is also good I want it to be like the kind of silly word that a camp counselor would come up with to try and convince you to not be homesick you know that's the kind of vibe I want I think don't read into that from my own childhood <laughs> bug nans Jess you get a free pack of these just because you came up with that you're going to have to remind me, though. I will forget. <laughs> Here, I'll write it up on top. Just gets a free pack. <laughs> Bugnanza is where it's at. 
I will need to double check and make sure that that's not trademarked by anybody else, but that's good. Good work, Jess. <laughs> Let me just Google it and see if something else comes up. <laughs> okay. It looks like some people do use it, but... Oh, it's somebody's name? Okay, there's a Dr. Adrian Baganza. Just in case anybody was wondering. But it looks like the only other use of Bug Bonanza that is coming up in a quick search is for like actual literal bugs that somebody sells to feed your chickens. So I think we're good. Um, <laughs> I can look into that a little bit further. Bug Nanza is very good. Hi, BP! How you doing? I should do a little... So that I remember that that's that. Um, wow, the uh, saturation on stream is interesting. So this is a black pen. It certainly does not look black on my screen right now. That's, that's intriguing. Huh. Um, the light is changing pretty drastically outside. You guys can probably tell. Um, it, it's probably just a blue based black. All blacks are based in some color or another. And you can usually tell, like, if you, we can do a little experiment right now. Because, I mean, we're just shooting the shit anyway, right? But you can do a little experiment to see what your black ink is based off of. If you just do, like, that and then get it wet and let it run. And it'll separate into the different pigments. So, yeah, that's blue-based. <laughs> Fun facts. Uh, that, that's the thing that they do for forensic style testing for for inks to compare. Um, okay. So I think we can have like Bug Nanza down here. And I can already see the kind of font that I want in my head. I think we want Bug Nanza and then underneath the little collectible stickers. Under there. You guys can't see that again. I need to get better about realizing where the edge of the camera is. Um, I want that to end up three by five. Well, less than three by five. I like three by four. I'm so bad at math. <laughs> I think I have a four by four piece of paper in here somewhere. Here's four by five. There's a five by five. Um, Four by five will probably get us closer to where we want to be. Just need to measure off the edges. Um, I just had that ruler. Where did I set it? Why am I like this? It's almost like I don't have any actual working memory, especially when I'm doing math. Um, I may have other smaller pieces of paper in here too. I really don't know what I have. I just like cut paper and then I shove it in here. And sometimes I remember that I have paper and I should check and then sometimes I don't. Oh, here's a good style of paper for the Copic marker. Maybe we'll do something. You guys have, have a thought about something that involves the color aqua that could be a silly little drawing. Shout it out. Maybe he'll get started on it today. I don't know. I didn't really prepare very well for today, honestly, because I was busy doing behind the scenes stuff, writing a million different product listings and taking photos and doing that kind of stuff. Um, but I've used this style paper. This isn't um, watercolor paper. This is a uh, cotton kind of paper. Um, I was looking for my ruler and then I got distracted again. 
I'm just like this always. You'd think that with a brain that did this many things, I'll, it's literally right in front of my face. I did it again. Um, you'd think with a brain that like thinks this many thoughts, you wouldn't be possible. Like it wouldn't be possible for you to get bored. You'd be wrong. Um, just pro tip there. I can make this bigger and then shrink it down, but yeah, for real, Bewitch, for real. Like, sorry, I do my own taxes, which means I need to be an accountant. I need to be like an accountant year round to keep up on it so that I don't get overwhelmed at the end of the year. I need to be a technical writer. I need to be a marketer. I need to be, you know, a social media professional. I need to be all of these things. And it's just like work all the time. You wanna know how many days I took off last month? Zero. <laughs> just I don't know people really don't realize it this is bigger than four um how do I want to do this do I want to do it bigger so if I do the five by seven yep yeah for sure and like it's just all the time forever Well, if I do 5 by 7 it should be fine, actually. Because if the, if the 5 is the 3 and the 7 is the 5, that's just 2 inches on each side, so it'll shrink down fine. Yeah, I think. If not, I can resize it. It's not a big deal. Um, I'm making this more complicated than it needs to be. Again, shock that I, the person who overcomplicates things, might overcomplicate something. Um, Oh, real, real. Yeah, I don't use OBS. I use Streamlabs, which I know, like, there's some drama behind Streamlabs, but it's been so much easier on me than anybody who, um, like, it's been so much easier for me than OBS has been to anybody I know who uses OBS. Like, at least if there's a problem with Streamlabs, like, I just restart and it's all fine. Like, yes, that's annoying, but it's not that bad. And really, most of the problems I've had with Streamlabs have been because my computer sucks, um, which is totally valid. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, but which I was already doing video editing, so I don't, I, I'm okay with that. But I will say that I hate having to use video, like three different video ed editors to post to different social medias. And like, they all have different rules about how long the video can be. That gets my goat really bad. There's the shifting rules that they don't even tell you. You just need to figure it out. Is like, ooh, ooh, it makes me so mad. <laughs> okay. We have a plan for what we're doing. We have a plan for dimensions. I should write down what this is actually for, probably. Somewhere in here. Just so that I remember whenever I go back through this. I've been blasting through this sketchbook lately. It's almost like I've been making a lot of art or something. Um, it usually takes me forever to go through a sketchbook. I guess the start of this one was, yeah, way back. Um, Cause this was my one of my dream journals in 2021, but I really didn't use it a lot in between stuff. This is back for dream journals when I had started Patreon. Um, and I mean, I just kind of use this paper however the heck I want. Here's a commission I did. Not that you can really see it. Um, that looks like a butthole. It's actually an artichoke, I want you to know. Um, <laughs> oh, here's um, something that I have paper for that I've never completed. Um, here's another project I never did. Here's another project I never finished. Um, there's my hand. Oh, here's um, a piece that I did um, that sold recently, but this is one of the stickers. This is the original sketch for, um, I know you're on the table here somewhere, for this guy. Look at him. That's him. 
This was why I was thinking I wanted to do um, a combo of Copic markers and colored pencils again, because that's what I did for this, and I really like the texture. Um, but I thought this little sketch was so cute. I don't think that the final is as cute as this sketch, which happens so often. But I made him a little bit more more chonky in here than I did for the final. Um, but yeah. Me, I won't get distracted, proceeds to get distracted. <laughs> but yeah. That I was going to use that for a background for something and then I hated it. Uh, final dream journal, that's when that ended. That's 2023. Here's measurements for the advent book that I've been working on. Here's last stream ink. Um, all sorts of stuff in here. I think this is where we get to the point where I need to be careful because I started using this as like just a notebook. <laughs> Which means that there's some personal information in here. Um, oh, there's the sketch for Gremlin Mode. He's going to be a, a sticker soon, too. Um, yeah, lots of just like random sketchies for getting focused on. Um, I don't remember why I would, wrote all those people's names down. Here is Gratitude 30 that I never finished. I'm actually going, so I recorded the whole process of me painting this pine cone. And it's just kind of been sitting around. And I think that I'm going to use that for a video directed, like I'm going to be vaguing at somebody because I have a, a large thing to say. And I think I might as well put it on social media. Here's a dog. That's my dad's dog. I'm still really proud of this painting. I might scan, like, I started this entire project with the idea that I was specifically not going to monetize anything um, in it just to, like, take the pressure off a little bit. But I think the dog and the gummy bears there are both really good, and I should probably turn those into prints. Um, although I don't know, do people want a random dog? Is that a thing? A dog that is not yours? I don't know. It's really cute, though. That's birdie. When he was a little pupper. I mean, he's still really a little baby boy, but he's also old and very rotund now. Um, yeah, lots of various things in here. Then we get into color and focus where I just kind of, to make the like announcement photo, I just slap the colors on a sketch page and then like sketch over top of it for ideas. Oh, here's Boba Fett that I have not moved forward on. It's just a, if a Waba Fett were to drink Boba, would he drink it like this or would he drink it like this? Cause theoretically the tail is the actual Pokemon. So I wanted one where he was holding the boba out for his tail to drink too. Um, here's a bunch of pieces of tape. Um, if you go to the link section of my website, that's what these are. I scanned them um, and then used them as assets, except I changed the colors so that they matched my my stuff. Here's, here's Prussian blue. which was within recent memory. Oh, there's a list of um, songs and artists that my boyfriend mentioned that he liked. All sorts of stuff. I really, I really do just end up using this as a notebook, which is fine. Like, that's the point. That's why I don't get, like, a nice paper one. <laughs> Hi, Cap. Yeah, I just, I got distracted and started flipping through my sketchbook. Here's all of my, the colors of the uh, watercolor brush pens that I got to use in my journal. Um, here's different kinds of laminate. <laughs> All sorts of stuff. Here's an, 
not finished list of all of the stickers that I'm going to be adding. I decided that it was too many to actually fit on that page. And so I made a spreadsheet, you know, just, just normal things that people do when they're definitely actually organized and not just faking it. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that I would do a, a Boba Fett sticker, but not Star Wars, just a Waba Fett drinking Boba. But would the tail drink the Boba? Thank you, Cap. I do work really hard and it shows because I keep crying about it. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm not super stressed. It's fine. Um... I was going to look up a reference for that because I decided that those measurements were fine and I could work with that. Um, and then I got distracted by my own sketchbook, which is probably a good sign. See, but the tail is theoretically the Pokemon, right? That's fair. Actually, a giraffe rig one would be pretty funny, except giraffe rig doesn't have like hands to hold the boba with. That's one of the things that was really fun about um, the, if they didn't call it Pokemon Refresh and XY, what did they call that? Pokemon Ami? Um, and similar was that you could feed them so you could see where their mouths were. Because a lot of Pokemon just like don't have a visible mouth. And some of them will still eat and some of them won't. So like Metapod, um, in Pokemon Ami doesn't eat and it's wild. <laughs> it will just like look at you and not do anything and you're like, oh, all right. Oh my God, why are there like, these are fancy terrariums. Children these days get like really cool stuff. Where, where, I don't want a DIY terrarium. I want something very specific. Maybe if I don't call it a terrarium, that will help. But I want one of those like stupid plastic ones that definitely are not the right size for any bug to ever live in. And yet we shoved them in there anyway. Yeah, okay, a carry box is what it's really called. Noted. There are still ones that are like way fancier. This is what I'm talking about. One of these guys. I bet I can find a good photo on the Amazon. Which I hate, but such is the way. Yeah, that's what I want. Oh, I was thinking this is only tangentially related. It makes sense in my head, but it won't make sense to like anybody else. But the first prompt for um, a stream mank is dinosaur. And I was thinking I might do a tarantrum for kicks and giggles. Mm, that makes sense, that makes sense. But we'll see, we'll see how many of the stream inks I actually end up doing. I'm going to try to, like, not be insane about it, but I'm pretty insane, so. Okay, don't start sketching with that pen. That's a bad idea. There is something on this paper. What is it? Are you going to cause problems? We'll find out. I can always redo it. Not that big a deal. Okay. Do I have a brain in my head? The answer is no. 
but we will continue onwards anyway. I do love a lot of the Pokemon lore because it's like so wild, especially in some of the like later games, like the uh, sun and moon are like wild dex entries. I can't shush. It's my job to keep talking. Okay. Uh, my brain doesn't know where to start on this. I, I don't know. I am very tired today, and so my, my pistons are not firing correctly. Um, I probably didn't want to bring that out that far. Because we have a little bit of a tilt a -rooney here. Like right here. The smart way to do this would be to do a bunch of measurements. Um, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. And I do think that part of the thing with hand-drawn art is that you kind of want it to look like you drew it by hand. Which I think that it loses some charm if you do too much measuring. Oh, thanks for sending all of those at once, Streamlabs. That was really helpful, even though all those timers are on different times. Thanks, buddy. I would normally, I guess do this digitally and then transfer it to the art paper, but we're just going to say fuck it, we ball today. Because um, you know what? If I don't like it, I can just redo it and it'll be fine. See a little bit of the feet in the back. Kind of like that. Through the plastic. Oh, yep, go do that for surezies.
if we can see those ones back there, we can probably see this one right here. so much easier to do digitally but we started <laughs> um let's see here so i want there to be a little bit of a blip on this guy but not like a lot a lot but some oh sorry i just hit the mic sorry i didn't mean to hit you i didn't mean it baby perspective. Who is she? We don't know her. this a little too big and that is another one of the reasons why I like doing this digitally first <laughs> it's so much easier to resize that way and I'm not saying I'm lazy I'm just saying that I don't want to have to do more work than I need to do yeah no I am also going to repeatedly hit my palette with my arm and make little clinking sounds. So enjoy that if that's your thing. Um, or don't enjoy it. I don't know. I'm not your mom. You can do whatever you want. Exactly. Not that I can twerk, but you know, same difference. More like less working, more lurking, because then I hang out in a bunch of chats on Twitch. Okay, then we have a bunch of lines. That's going to be a pain in the butt to figure out. Um, but I do want to figure out, like, a branch in here. Welcome back. I still think this corner looks messy, but it'll be fine. And if it isn't fine, it's fine. You know, that's the level, that's the level of care that I have today. It's like, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> it's almost like I'm really tired or something. I wonder how that happened. That's not too bad, though. I think. Um, and let's be real. Like, I can draw all of the pencil lines with a ruler, but I'm not going to be using a ruler when I ink it. They're all going to end up wonky anyway. That's part of the charm. That's part of the style. Um, I do think that I want to measure for these slats, though. Otherwise, it's going to drive me bonkers. I do think that our color of the month is going to be a great color for the top of this. 
the reference that I have is just like a black top to it, but I remember them being like crazy bright colors, probably because I was a child in the 90s, you know? But I had um, stick bugs for a while and I got to bring them to school in little containers like this. This is not what they lived in full time, but they had babies at one point and it was very exciting. I still, oh my gosh. Tiny, tiny Katie trauma. Um, I still remember when the adult one that I had originally died. We buried her in the yard in a sprinkle container. <laughs> I was devastated. <laughs> I made my mom pour out all of the rainbow sprinkles in the sprinkle container so that I could bury her in the, the jar of sprinkles. Well, the jar that the sprinkles came in. Because that seemed like the appropriate burial device for her. I wonder if the people who live in that house now have found that. Because they really dug up the entire yard when we sold that house. They probably found that and my guinea pigs. I'm sure that's like a normal thing that home reno people find when they redo yards. Is a bunch of dead animals, you know? I'm sure that's, that's pretty normal. I don't know. I've always been a very sentimental person, even when I was a child. That has not changed in the slightest. <laughs> it's just one of those things. I feel big emotions. Okay. I'm, I don't want to measure these, but I know that if I don't, that it's going to drive me bonkers. Oh, you had turtles? That's great. We didn't have turtles. Well, we, I guess my, um, was it fourth grade? It must have been fourth grade. Class had like class turtles and we got to each, like you got to sign up to take them home over the summer basically and take care of them. And I was so gung-ho to do that. And then I was told that I had to dig up a bunch of worms and I was not so gung-ho about it anymore. Timmy and Tommy. That's great. That's so cute, though. <laughs> Adorable. Yeah, we, I guess the most recent pet was Jack, and we didn't, that was our cat. We had him for, like, he was, like, 21 when he died, and we got him when he was, like, six months old. Um, so I, I have lived with that cat longer than I have lived without him, but he was the most recent and we, we got him cremated, but we didn't take him home. Um, but I have a painting by Trisha of him up on the mantle, um, that I keep meaning to get framed, but I wanted to do like a, they gave us those little, um, styrofoam paw prints that they do. And I wanted to get one of those framed with it, but that's like daunting to me. So I haven't done it, <laughs> which isn't that big a deal, but I do need to put some, um, what's the word I'm trying to think of? Some, some UV protector over it at some point, because I still haven't done that, which is not the best life choice, but you know, Oof, yeah, that sucks, Cap. This is the bit line. Should be fine. 
Yeah, well, I mean, that doesn't... Like, even if it's expected, that doesn't make it easier. You know? I hate having to make things look even. <laughs> this is another reason why it would be easier if I just did it digitally first. But we've committed. We're going forward. And I'll be fine. Man, I feel like ACS hasn't streamed it forever. I feel like I haven't gotten a notification for them in ages. Okay, good news. I did measure the midline correctly. <laughs> I tend to do the midline just so that I know halfway if I've messed up. Because it's better to erase half of it than to erase all of it. Even if you get really frustrated about it. Don't worry about it, it's fine. <laughs> up here when the sunlight is going away rather quickly so my uh, concept of what time it is is not great if I am judging by the sun which is easier to do when you're sitting next to a giant window okay Technically, I should put a handle on the top of it, but I don't think I'm going to bother with that. The handles were removable anyway. At least the ones on mine were. Um, I think that's, that's fine. Do... I want to put the band, like, here for the name. Um, this is another reason why I do things digitally, because I have trouble making up my mind, and so if I can move things around, then it's helpful.
do want to add the logo digitally probably so that it looks like a sticker on something and my logo is digital and not something that I particularly want to do um Maybe I want to do the Tundra Katie Bean as a sticker on the front of it, too. <laughs> but I think... I don't have my stencils out here. I think just a little circle sticker right here. With the logo. And then maybe just have like the Tundra Katie Bean here. like bubble letters because I think that'll go like my branding in general goes well with like anything shoved on top of anything else because it's very um like bubble letter middle school notebook kind of kind of vibes which is on purpose um do want to add the banner to this. Maybe I do. It's like a sign right here. Or maybe I want to just do the terrarium and then I can do another sheet with the sign on it if I want to. So yeah, maybe I just want to do the terrarium plane. And then I can do other assets to put on top of it if I want to. Just that way if I change my mind I do actually have just like the base elements that I can play with too. Though I don't think that this is going to be like... I'm pretty solidified on the idea. Because I've been thinking about it. I don't think that line is wonky. I'm not sure that I care that much to change it. So I don't think it's that bad. I will have a little treat. Thank you, Shawnee. I will have one of my diminishing sugar candies. I considered bringing a chocolate bar out here today and then I didn't. So a little yellow star treat. Thank you. I will also do a hydrate. All right, there we go. Sippy and a treat. I think the sign is just too far that way. I think I need to move it up just like a tiny bit. That will make me feel better. not happy with that leaf. I need to mess with the leaf more, I think. Maybe I want to shove some just like blades of grass in there too.
Yes, more shelving is always better. For sure. Okay, I need to figure out what shape I'm trying to make this because I started doing one thing and then I did another thing and that's why I didn't like it. Um, so I kind of want there to be like a little hidey hole underneath the leaf. Also, I took off the eraser cap of my pencil and I don't know where I put it. Found it. Never mind. We're fine. I don't want it to be pushed up against the glass. Well, the plastic a little bit here. The sparse terrarium of a child who thinks they know how to take care of something alive. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still, I don't know if I'm digging that leaf still. That's where I leave it today, and we can work on inking this on um, Friday. Yeah, exactly, Shawnee. Like, you gotta put a stick in there, you gotta put a leaf in there, you gotta forget that you need water. <laughs> you gotta have no idea what this bug actually eats, you know? Just, just the way of things. Um, I will try to get at least one bug sketched for next time, too. Um, we'll see if I can manage that around all of my other stuff. Um, this is where I really should have set up the little vac desk vacuum that Cap got me for my birthday. This was exactly the reason why I thought that it would be useful. <laughs> but guess what I didn't do? It's over here. Maybe I can set it up now and we can pretend that I actually thought ahead instead of just having left everything here for ages because I don't focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> it's a USB charging one, so I can actually leave it charging over here. That'll be fine. Excellent. Charge it. Got it. These were clearly auto translated instructions. It does, it should have eyes when it lights up. Um, cause it's a little robot guy. I got one that looked cute. 
and like wasn't crazy expensive. Some of them were like really expensive. So it is already a little guy, but we can name the little guy. I can also like throw a bunch of tiny little plastic pieces around repeatedly. Right? I thought he was fun. Where is your charging butt? There it is. Right? We love a little guy. I love a little guy more than pretty much anything in this world. A little guy well and truly takes the horrors away. This is the shortest charging cord in the world, just in case anybody was wondering. But the thing over here, we have a, um, whatchamacallit. That's really helpful. You guys can definitely tell what I'm saying when I say whatchamacallit. Um, a, uh, what is that thing called? My brain doesn't know anymore. Never mind. There, it's charging. He also has a little, a little dick that we can put on him, I guess. Just in case. Although it sucks, I guess. So perhaps it is the opposite of a dick. Um, and I'm not supposed to put my finger in its butthole. These are things that I've learned just now. <laughs> um, not an extension cord. What's the other thing with all the outlets on it? <laughs> you bought me a little vacuum cleaner, but it also has like a little vacuum attach attachment. Not a power cord. Because it's not just a cord. It's a thing with a whole bunch of them. But we have one of those that has a bunch of outlets on it and also has power bar. Thank you. Um, that also has USB slots in it. So I can just leave it over here charging for a bit. It says that the light will go out when it's done charging. But it just has a little thing that you can put on the bottom to use it as like a regular vacuum, I guess. To get into corners or use on your keyboard. But this is his dick. I think I think that's just the way that it's going to go. It's his little strap on. Okay. I will keep all of the little attachments together. Otherwise, I will lose them. <laughs> We're going to need to name him, too, at some point. Um... It says to plug in the attachment straightly. I will tell you right now that I will not plug it in straightly. I will plug it in gaily. Um, I'm not supposed to get him wet. That's really important. And I'm not supposed to take apart his body while he is running. I think that's fair. Um, I also should not put my finger in its suction port. Mitch, that's fair. You're allowed to have boundaries. Um, if it gets too hot, I'm supposed to start ch stop charging it. That's also valid. And I shouldn't keep it in places where it gets really hot. That's valid. <laughs> I did! I put it away and I set it aside. Yeah. He's still charging. We'll just let him charge and I can clean up next time. We can we can see see how he works. Give him a little bit of time to adjust. Uh, to his new work environment. Where I definitely wouldn't get sued for sexual harassment. Um... Do I have anything else to say? I don't... Hi, Sky. <laughs> um, I got... Here, I'll just show you the box because he's still charging. But um, Cap got me a little desk vacuum boy. And we were um, inspecting his parts. And reading his instruction manuals and boundaries. He doesn't have a safe word, though. Um, so I'll need to be very attentive. 
But I said that he has a little dick, which is really a strap on because it's removable. So that that's what you missed. Um, welcome in <laughs> to uh, Katie did not get enough sleep. <laughs> And so that's minimal internal filter. That's fair. That's fair. It's little compared to my hand. How about that? Um, I'm just going to use this piece of paper to clean up the eraser crumbs. Um, uh, that's valid. That's valid. That's valid. Actually, you're right. I should not um, belittle the robot. Um, do I, do I have anything else to say? I don't, I, I don't know. I'm really out of it today. I did not sleep well, which I've, I've said multiple times, but I'm going to keep saying it, I guess. Um, let's see. I can clean up some mess that's around here because I'm always a mess. Um... We might be working on a spider next time. I will warn everybody. I said this at the start of the stream, but I'll say it again. Um, we're making a bunch of collectible bug stickers for like trading, trading art sticker things that are like trading cards, except they're stickers, um, which I stole the idea from Lib with Lib's permission. Um, but we're going to be working on some of those with the color of the month, which is teal. Um, so one of those is going to be a peacock jumping spider. I will warn everybody. I will put it in the title when I start streaming. All that jazz if I'm working on the spider. Just so that you know. Just in case you don't like spooters. Um. Um. I don't know how to relate that to cosplay. Because that's not something that I do. But... At the end of the day, like nothing is perfect. And if anybody has anybody else has a problem with it not being perfect, that's a them problem. That's not a you problem. Like you've been allowed to create. This is how I think of it. I've been allowed to create things and I'm going to make that everybody else's problem. If they don't like what I'm doing, like it's not perfect enough for them, then that's a them problem and they can fuck off. And like, I still struggle with perfectionism and like having a very intense inner self-critic, um, which really isn't a self-critic. It's a heckler. Let's be real. This is part of what I was saying I was going to make a video about earlier. Um, but also that voice is lying to me on a regular basis already. So... Yeah, we're also going to be doing a dragonfly this month and we will also be doing a leaf hopper. Um, so depending on which one I get sketched out first, but I have an, a, a cutesy idea for the peacock spider, um, because he looks like he's going like this while he's dancing for you. And I think that's really cute. So we're going to play with that concept. We'll see how many tries it takes me to get to a point where I'm happy with that though. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I will be working on Spider at some point this month. I'll warn everybody. It will be in the stream title. It won't be, it won't jump at you. You know, it won't jump you by surprise, unlike the actual Spider itself. Um, but I will be very careful about that. Um, we also finished a SpongeBob today. I guess I haven't put that on here. We finished this. Um, that will get added to my other sad ice cream bars as a sticker that will hopefully be getting added this month um i've been working a lot behind the scenes to get a bunch of stuff ready we're gonna have a lot of stickers hitting the shop all at once um and i'm decided after having done this because i thought it would be easier i'm never doing it that way again um <laughs> but here's here's some examples of the stickers that will be coming we have a void chicken um we have a selection of gay fruits little gay fruit labels because you know we love to show affection by putting fruit stickers on our friends um there's gonna be a goldfish 
Um, this is going to be like a limited edition freebie when I drop this because this, I need to change how I did the sticker because it's like a pain in the butt to pull off of the sheets. Um, we have a yamper that has little, little heart shine on it. We have a chill little Oshawott in the sunset. We have two new body badges. We have a uh, Nerf Pain Posse and No Knee Juice Club, which will be getting added to the, um, Tummy Trouble Survivor for this. I have more designs ready. Well, more designs planned that aren't ready yet. And we'll also have all of these um, sticker or sticker bars. That's not the words that I want to say. Ice cream bars. Um, there's also going to be the um, Sweetheart Trio that I did. And the Yes Homo and No Homo from this month um, are going to be added as stickers as well. So there's a lot. And I'm also going to be adding sticker confetti. Um, there's going to be a lot of stuff, so keep an eye out. Um, I will say again also that this is the uh, uh, sticker for Sticker Club this month. Um, $5 to get this sticker shipped to you anywhere that you receive mail. So your home or your P.O. box or whatever. Um, this, All of the Sticker Club stickers will be Patreon exclusive for at least a month. Um, I'm not sure which ones I'm going to list properly in my shop and which I'm not. So the only guaranteed way is to join the sticker club. Um, this one, actually this design will be the sticker for October too. So eyes peeled because things are happening. Um, do I have anything else to say? I don't know that I do. I don't know that I had much to say when I started stream, honestly, but I just kind of like kept a running cackle going the whole time. Um, and I also did math today on stream, and I think I even did math correctly. Wild. I'll have my brother double check my work, but I'm pretty sure I did it correctly. <laughs> Oh, I, thank you, Tumblr. That's so helpful. It's been like not actually reblogging a thing that I wanted to reblog. That's really frustrating. Um, I don't know that I have anything else to say. I think we're going to go bother Lib since um, I'm basically stealing their idea with the collectible stickers. Um, so I should take an art tax photo. And I can confuse Cap by sending him to um, a stream that he's already lurking in so that he has it open in two tabs when he comes back. Like I did last time. Because <laughs> we hang out in the same spots. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything. I've never known anything in my whole life. Um, this is all just made up. So, there you go. I think I'm going to switch the ending screen because I don't think I have anything else to say, honestly. Other than uh, the usual ending spiel. Thank you for being patient with me while I'm just like rambling and not making any sense at all. Um, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, let me put our raid commands in chat. I also should get the stream up. Uh, I can I can think. No, I can't. Yeah, that's that's just how it goes, honestly. Like once you hang out with a crew, like you keep hanging out with them, you know? So it's just like we're all bouncing back and forth between each other. <laughs> um Oh, I have so many messages. I want this, please. Thank you. This is going to make my laptop get so stressed out, but it's going to be okay. We can do it, buddy. Um, thank you, everybody, for being here and being nice and hanging out like you always do. Um, but still, I appreciate it. Um, I will see you all on Friday um, when we'll be continuing on our little, our little bug adventure. 
Um, and again, I'll warn people before I do the spiders. So it will be in the tweet. It will be in the stream title and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's fair, Shawnee. He can't see, though. He's he's put away. I'm sure that doesn't help, though. He can hear us fighting. It's bad when your parents fight, even if they think you're asleep. Um, so thanks for being here. Thanks for being nice to me. Take care of yourselves. Be kind to yourselves. Remember that you're loved because I love you. And if you can't take care of and be kind to yourself, please uh, do it for me because I think that you're awesome and you deserve nice things. And that includes from yourself, even on the days when it's really hard. So let's just cheer each other along and we'll end up in a better place. huh? Um, there are two uh, raid commands in the chat. Um, one, the first one with the hands is an emote you can use if you're subbed to the channel. The second one is emotes you can use anywhere on Twitch. So you can copy and paste the one that's relevant to you. Um, we're going to go with Lib who has a lot of loud noises and stuff, but is an absolute delight. So if you can get past the uh, overstimulation, you will have a great time. I promise. Um, and yeah, I'll see you all on Friday. Bye.